Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to be explaining a lot. I'm going to be explaining um, indexing bodies with and without extensions and I'm also going to show you um, how to get a body ready to be indexed. Um, so I'm going to show you that first. Um, I also wanted to say um, that I'm going to be showing a lot so the video is going to be kind of long um, just letting you know about that I'm going to be explaining a lot of things that um, other um, videos do not have um, so it's it's totally worth it to watch if you don't know a lot about indexing um, so the first things first I'm going to be showing is how to get this body ready to be indexed. So the first thing is it needs a BG or a background. Um, so you click that, you click the transparent um, background and you um, you paint a color in there that um, is not on the body yet and you make, make sure you use fill hole selection because it gets it done really quick. Um, uh, then you press this and click here and the lines will go away. Um, something that they do not explain is if there might be extra extra boxes outside of your body. It could be down here, it could be anywhere. Um, make sure that there's none. Because if you upload it with the body that has like extra little boxes on the outside then when you walk or run or whatever um, there's a chance you would see that and you wouldn't like it so um, just make sure that you do that and you just get it all done and make sure that you do not have um, a transparent little um, pixels either make sure that you fill those in with the same color just like that Okay. <clears throat> oh god, my voice. Oh, okay. So, now the next part. Um over here, this body does not have the same black colors for the outline. This is very important that you make sure that the body does. Um especially if you have um uh, <clears throat> black extensions if you have black extensions and uh, you do not uh, make sure that this is the same color, then what could happen is that could mess up your um, your extensions. So you need to be sure that you make this the same color. So I'm just going to do this. Um, if you have black extensions on your body already, then you're going to have to use your... Um, your pencil and just fill it in for everybody. You're just gonna have to draw it yourself. Um, okay, and then for the skin, make sure it's the same color too. So, um, you just you just do that until it has the same color. Okay, now that that's done. What you're going to do is uh, you need to have seven colors. So you have your background, outline, skin, and now you need four more colors. So this is what I'm going to do. Now this is the part where you can choose where you want your colors and stuff like that. This is where you choose what you want to do. And you can use any colors as long as if it's not all it, as long as if it's not true black or true white, then it'll work. Um, so, yeah, just make sure it's not true white or true black, and it'll be just fine. So, you do this.
Okay, so now there's seven colors. Um, and you basically have to do this for all of them. You have to do it for all. And then, um, once you're done with that, then it's ready to be indexed. This body is ready to be indexed. All the colors are done. So I am going to show you how to index now. Okay. So I'm going to move this. I don't need it right now. So what you need to do is click image mode. Oh wait, it was not supposed to. Oh, sorry. Image mode indexed just like that. Okay. Now normally it would start right here. It have this clicked, but because I already had this clicked before, um, it already had it down here, but um, this is what I would start with. So you would click this, um, and then you click this box, and you click this down here, and then you're going to create your own palette right here. Okay, so now you need seven boxes. Um, so you add them by clicking this, going here, and new, you click new color from BG and you do this seven times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now you have your seven boxes. This part is very important. So make sure that you pay close attention because if you do not put the colors in the correct boxes, it could ruin your body. So the first thing you're going to do is double click the first box, click the eyedropper, and the color, the first color is outline. So you're going to click like that click OK and you're going to double click the second one and uh, you're going to um, use the belt for this one. Now I'm going to explain this. Um, the other videos they don't explain this either. This body does not have a belt as you can see so what I use for the belt if the body does not have a belt is I use it for like accessories or shading or like just an extra color so like the the panda the red part in the panda that would be an accessory um would be an extra part um or if it had shading down here on the shoes or on the, on the body then or like a heart or a name or whatever this is just that extra little part so for this one it's the panda um, so click OK and then box number three is the background okay and then box number four is the shoes box number five is the sleeves Box number six is the skin. And box number seven is the coat right here. Okay, once you have all your colors, you click save. You can change the name of your palette, but I don't find that useful. I don't do it, and I'll show you why. So I click save. Now, the other videos they tell you um, for this next part to click this and to search for your new palette. I don't do that because I can never find it. So what I do um, is right here it's already highlighted. I click on it and I just drag it inside the box so I don't have to even look for it. This you make sure that this is unchecked. Do not check this, okay? And then you click convert. Okay, now it says up here it's indexed. You click image mode and it's indexed, okay? Now, this part's very important. You have to save it. So, you save whatever name and put PNG. Save it in pictures so that you can find it when you want to upload it. Click save, take me to the export dialog, 
Make sure it's in pictures, export. Do not check this box, okay? Do not. And you export, alright? This body is done. It's ready to be uploaded. I'm going to show you how to index with um, with extensions now. I'm not going to explain the first the first parts again because um, I already did that earlier so you can just go back in the video if you're having trouble um, but the first part is the same. You're going to still create a new palette and add seven boxes. I only add, I do the first seven first because if I try to do everything at once I can get confused. That's just how I am. I have to do everything one at a time. So, yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now when you have your seven boxes, you do it the exact same way that you did it for the other body. Um, you get, um, see the belt here is the little heart this time. Um, you just, um, you, you do this the same as I did before. Okay. Sorry, my house is a little noisy right now. Um, okay. Now I have all my colors for the body. So my next part, what I'm going to do before I add more boxes for my hair, is I'm going to count how many colors and how many boxes I'll need. The way that I do that is I I'm click the eyedropper here and I just click the darkest color and I make sure on the front and side view that they're the same and I'll know if the numbers change then that means that they're not and I'll have to add an extra box for that color if I do not add all the colors of the hair then what's going to happen is when I index it it's going to take this shading like like if I didn't put this color it'll just turn it into this color and it won't look right on your head. It's going to remove that color. So just make sure you do this. Make sure if that they're the same on the side, on the side, and um, on the front view. So this one will require four boxes. So I'm going to add four boxes, and it's from the BG. Okay. Um, now I always start with the darkest color and work my way to the to the lightest color. Um, that's how I do it so I don't get confused on what colors I used and what colors I didn't use yet. Um, but you can do it however you want. This part does not matter um, after the seven boxes. Um, now on this body there's extra colors um, on the shoes so this has two extra colors so I'm going to add two more boxes behind that and do the same thing here does not matter what order that you want to do it okay and after after your seven boxes you can add as many colors as many boxes as you want and um, it doesn't matter what order they're in and uh, all those colors will not change color so um, uh, you can you can do it however you want but the first seven they have to be in a certain order now when it's done it's just like the other one you click save it's highlighted right here you just um, you just drag it do not check this box click convert okay it's indexed says it's indexed up here you click image mode it's indexed so you save it you save it the same way as um you save it the same way as before png put it in pictures okay make sure it's on pictures do not save this export and it's ready to go um I'm also going to be showing you guys um, I, I saw I saw um, some people asking what if they only want to use one color 
So I am going to show that for you. Um, I've never done this before, but I, th I think this is how you would do it. So I'm going to show you right now. Um, so with that, I'm going to get the body ready and finish the outline here. Um, and just fill it in with one color. I'm not really sure how you wanted to do that. If you wanted, um, if you wanted the whole thing to just be one color only or something, um, you would just need to pick what color it is that you wanted to use. Um, and you would have to fill all the boxes in that require color changing. Okay, so for instance, um, this body, I don't know if this is what you were asking, if this is what you were thinking. Um, it would be like this, and you do image mode, indexed, it's the same as the other ones. Um, so, new palette. You would still need seven boxes from BG. Three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and you would uh, still fill it in the same way, the outline being the first. Um, the belt, it would just obviously be the same, the pink, um, the background, the shoes, would, it's the same color, so you just put the same, um, sleeves, the same color, um, skin, and coat same color so if if this is what you were asking I'm not really sure but if that's what you're asking that's how I would do it um, that's how I would fill in the boxes if you wanted just one color or um, or if you wanted to add only one color to change color and then add accessories and stuff that do not change color like a necklace or something else um, then you would just have to add more boxes again like I explained earlier and then just do it that way so guys um, this is how you index and uh, I really hope that it helped you out um, so if you have any more questions just leave a comment below or you can contact me in my email um, so um, yes uh, thank you uh, for watching and uh,